to another Q Show installment. Uh, today we're going to take a look at a, a basic principle, not so much Q Show, but we'll add a little bit of Q Show interest to you as well. In the martial arts, uh, we're always taught and we, are, we fully understand the principles of yin and yang, but it's not just soft and hard. When we look at our tools and our targets and our uh, trajectories, we have to keep this concept in mind. For tools, let's take a kata uh, movement and let's take a look at it in more depth with the yin and yang principles. You have a kata called naihanchi. Okay, naifuanchin is known by techie, it's known by a, a lot of different names, different styles, but the idea is the same. You're practicing the same form, basically. In each one of these different variations uh, aside, there's always a movement that comes up, there's always a movement that comes out to the side, there's always a movement that comes back, and it's repeated on both hands. Okay, and everybody understands the principle of hitting with the knuckles to the head, or hitting across to the side of the jaw or side of the temple, okay, or even in, depending on where you're, what side the person's head you're on or how you've controlled the person with this bottom hand. It's not just a brace, it's not just an augment. Maybe you've grabbed the person and you pulled them in. Okay, but when you're looking at this, don't just look at the fist like everybody does, the actions of that fist. Consider the yin aspect. Maybe the fist is a grasping uh, technique. Maybe it had a weapon in it, like a knife. Maybe the knife is slicing across or this way, or maybe just pushing straight in, or maybe pulling back on the, the person's wrist. All these different concepts you have to put into your mind as a full martial artist. You want to get these concepts, not just use it blindly as a uh, back to knuckle to the head, for, uh, for example. Some great places to put this for Kyushu aspect, putting the knuckles right up underneath the eyebrow or the cheekbone here, on the facial nerve, or the superorbital nerves of the eye. Okay, striking out on the facial nerve, on the back of the jaw, or in on both sides. Okay, or even at the malar nerve that's coming up uh, beside the eyebrow. But what you also need to look at is not just the movement out, back, across, and in of the fist. Look at what's happening with the elbow. Using your hand as a guide, you're learning how to strike forward with it, strike back, strike across, strike inward. That adds a new dimension to every technique you do in your naihachi. And, and as, a, as a challenge to you, why don't you do this? Take your nahanchi and instead of looking at all the fist positions, look at what the elbow is doing on each action in that kata. Even coming across this way where you think about what your hand was doing. Think about what your elbow was doing, maybe to someone's arm that you've trapped. Again, looking at um, the yin and yang, you have to go right into the details. This is what's going to make you a finer martial artist, getting right to the detail of every action you do. And it gives you much more value as an instructor because you can open a person's eyes to those little details and challenge them as they go along in their, their journey to look deeper into everything they do. Again, just a little bit of yin, a little bit of yang, a little bit of nahainch. By the way, okay, if you're interested in all these videos I'm putting up here for you, uh, do me a favor and just subscribe so you get the information on a regular basis and um, it also helps the community as well. Thanks again for watching.